Today, I will be restoring a vintage chair pin cushion, as well as sharing some other unique items from my vintage sewing arsenal. I begin by removing the old stray pins, needles, and safety pins from the cushion, then removing it, the old spools of thread, and glue from the chair. I'm taking the measurements for the cushions which were sewn off camera. I decided to use Velcro strips to attach the new cushions so in the future they could be changed for new ones. I also did this to minimize further damage to the chair. The cushions were filled with cotton because I had no batting on hand. Using whip stitches, I closed the cushions. Next, it was on to gluing the Velcro to the chair and the cushions.
I wanted to show you a few other sewing accoutrements. Um, as of course you saw me just uh, complete the uh, chair cushion and those are wood spools and they are original to the chair. And so this was a lot of fun to restore. And I have uh, two scalloped rulers here. And uh, these are approximately from about, I would say between 1930s, 1950s. Uh, could be a little earlier, maybe 20s. And as you can see, there's 10 cents on each one of the cards. And these are attached to the original cards. And uh, this is a one inch scallop ruler and a two inch scallop ruler. And on the back, there are the instructions. And so these are really incredible to have. And I'm going to enjoy using these in future projects. And as you can see, uh, they're a little worn across the scalloped edges there because they've been used. So these are a lot of fun. And uh, this is a chalk sharpener. And so when I'm doing my sewing and my chalk is running down, like I have a few pieces here like that one, I will just take it through the sharpener and just sharpen it. So that's a nice little contraption to have in my sewing arsenal. And these two items here are sewing kits. And each has a thimble. They look like uh, lipstick containers. But these are quite unique. And you just take the thimble off. You can put that on your finger. And take that off. And there's four spools of thread there. And you can take the top off here. And this reveals a needle. So I can take these on my travels. And I'll put that back in the capsule. Put the top back on. And I've had these for probably, I would say, probably a couple, three years now. And make sure the needle's down. And the capsule there. But um, the unique thing too is that these, um, each one has a little opening here so you can just pop your thread in the, um, that's on your needle and pop it through and that can pull up and then you can pull your needle out. And I'll wrap that back around there. And then on this one it has about, I believe, three needles in it with a couple of pins. So let me take this out so you can take a look at it. Four spools of thread. And I'll take these out. And one of the, the needles is actually attached to some thread here. Take that apart. And I can take that off. And so as I said, like if you have your thread on your needle and that it'll just go through the hole here, I believe I can get that in there. But, um, but yeah, so your thread would be through here. You would snake it through the top and then when you pull this up, you actually can pull the thread on it and it'll pull the top off. And so I'll go ahead and put these back in. So there's one needle and there's a second needle. And there's a third. And as you can see, this holds quite a bit. There's two pins. And then you just put your thimble back on. And there you have it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe for more fabulous videos. And until next time, wherever you are in the world, be good to yourself and to others.